Hey guys, it's Clint the Not So Quiet Quilter on the Ramblin' Crafter channel. <laughs> and my lovely wife, who would be the Ramblin' Crafter, is behind me. Say hi, hi honey. honey. Hi, honey. Uh, let's see. I got Gracie Lynn here. She hasn't showed up. Uh, little buddy Wilbur Hot Rod Dean is over that way. I asked him if he wanted to say hi, and he hasn't made it over here yet, so I think he probably will. Uh... Today is a bull BS session and a sew, sew, no, glue sew BS share. So, uh, Gwendolyn asked me, quit chewing on that. Uh, our, my very good friend, my Gwendolyn, oh, that little turd. Oh, he's knocking stuff off. She asked me if I found some interesting finds when I was Melly detecting because she That's saw. Not. The locating video where in your in Ofer where I had used my melee detector. And yeah, I have. Let me share a couple of things. My favorite find, you know, I found a little bit of silver and stuff. But I'll show you my f absolute favorite. This is really a neat I need they're not it's not worth much. This is a Colorado Springs transit token. Let's see, right there. And I absolutely love this, how it was cut out. There's a lot of them of transit tokens that were this way. And it is about the size of a dime, but it's made out of copper. This was actually, it's actually smaller than a dime. Uh, the funny thing was, this was actually found in the Cortez Park. Cortez. This was a Colorado Springs token. Quit cleaning your woohoo. So how far is Colorado Springs from uh, Cortez? Well, she says, how far is Colorado Springs from Cortez? And, um, what, I think it's probably five, five or six hours, probably, somewhere around there. So that was my favorite, absolutely favorite find. And some of these are, are finds that Dad and I, uh, um, found when I was younger and when we mail detected. So this is, I, let's see, Dear Novelty Coin Play, so it's like a token for play, uh, here's a really nice uh, wheat penny, 1951, I have several wheat pennies, um, here's a lead ball, but this, this is really cool. You're not going to believe what this is. I don't even know if I've even showed it to Shell. I probably have. I think you're showing me everything. Believe it or not, this opens up. Oh, yeah, you showed it to me. Look at that, guys. It is a lipstick. Yeah, you showed that to me. Copper. Isn't that amazing? Woo! Ah! Oh, shut up, woman. It got beautiful decoration right there. I can't really. That is pretty cool. They're almost like an S pattern. Isn't that the neatest thing? So that, I don't know. And then I have other stuff around. I found rings and stuff like that. Uh, but bracelets, stuff. Got a uh, thimble. Star brand shoes. Sewing thimble. It's pretty well beat up. It looks silver, so. Just other stuff like that. I mean, here's the Lord's Prayer. That's copper. What's this? Just stuff from the Boy Scouts. But I do have a really interesting one, and I haven't found it. I had it, but I thought it was with my Colorado Springs token, and it wasn't, so I'll find it. When I find it, I'll share it to you, but I've never seen nothing like it. Um, it is a Coke bottle opener, and it's actually shaped like a Victorian boot. Uh, it was pretty... Uh, 
it was made out of copper or brass, so it's, you know, it did have, it does have, a, it's hard to read it, so, but, okay, guys, now for the other part, okay, you and I, you guys know, I've been telling you that I've been sewing a, they're cutting a whole bunch of squares, and so I actually am not done cutting, so, but these, all the squares I got, Cut. I don't know how many is here. There's a lot of crap loads. So, uh, oh, and these, sorry, and all them. I bet there's probably, I would say I'm probably well over 100, probably. Probably like 500. Yeah, I probably do have more than 200. Uh, there's tons of them. Not all these will be for, I'm making a rag, I'm making a few rag quilts. Not all of them are going to be, um, one is for the pets, so to cover Grandpa's chair, because they lay on the recliner a lot. We can easily wash. Yeah, easily wash, and you know, so not all of them, will. these will go in it, um, but there's a beautiful, I mean, these are really beautiful. And there's, some of them are really thin, others are very... Uh, like these are really stiff, thicker material. So these I'm going to keep. I'll keep these out. And I'm going to put them over here. I don't have my iron out. I really don't need it right now. We figured that um, probably uh, just keep sewing, gluing and sewing today. And that's kind of my plan. So. Well, without further ado, <laughs> I, you know, guys, I just want to say, I love you guys. I sure love your comments. You guys just make my day. That's all there is to it. I love our YouTube family. Uh, all these right here, I'm going to keep out. These are beautiful. Not 100% sure where we got all these. Probably at the thrift store or a yard sale. But look at these, guys. So these are going to go on our, on our bed, our bed, uh, quilt. So, you know, I'll keep those out. So, okay. Oh, there is tons. I don't know. I'm going to glue them at two by two. So in twos, I think that's going to be the easiest for me. Because, uh, I don't, you know. So I'll probably just take one from one stack, one from another, and just go from there. And they're all different fabrics. Like I said, there's some that are really thin. And you cut them all individually, didn't you? Do what, Mama? You cut them all individually. Yeah, I cut them all individually. Uh, one by one, so. Huh. Well, that one don't look right to me at all. I wonder what I'm stupid. I think that one somehow got off and it's not right. That one I'm taking out because I don't believe it's had everything on my table but we just ate breakfast and I moved everything so I don't know where my uh, ruler these are cut in three inches three inch squares um, uh oh huh oh my lid was hard to get off my glue bottle this is my basic glue this isn't the other one I got it's not rag right here so there we go. These are very nice. You know, she used my old one for her. What do you call that stuff? Your glue. Art glitter, Art glitter glue. Sorry, guys. <coughs> so, um, nothing exciting. Just BS stories. I was trying to think of some neat stories. But, yeah. Well, even if you've told them before, you can still tell them again. Yeah. Well, either my glasses are off or I screwed up. Hmm. Blame your glasses? No, it's my glasses, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys know, I actually had a, um, I can't remember what they call it, you know, the scientific name. I had a scar on my eye, and... Um, 
I had it removed, but it's just, uh, it's it starts in the corner of your eye and then it moves into your retina. Isn't that your center? Sorry, Whatever right. the center of your eye is, that's where it goes. Your pupil. Pupil. I think. Or yeah. I don't know. One of them others. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And I had it removed, but it, it gave me, um, I have, oh, what do you call that? Uh, astigmatism. Astigmatism. Yeah, that. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, I, uh, um, my eyes are always a little off because of that. It was a pretty bad uh, scar. Uh, it wasn't bad when I had it removed, I mean, but uh, luckily it hasn't, it, well, it started, my other eye has one too, but um, it's not bad, I, you can barely even know what's there, he said. Yeah, that was from the wind. Yeah, Shell said that was from the wind. Yeah, it's, it's caused, a lot of, are caused by uh, wind damage, wind and sun damage, and I'm, Maybe, I don't wear sunglasses. I'm just one that just never has worn them, and so it does. It if yeah, the sun does affect you, can cause them. I guess they. He was telling me they are rare in certain parts of the country and more common in other parts because you know we here are we are so much closer to the sun. It shines more often than in some other places. So. Uh, it's a little bit more common in the dry air, in the deserts and stuff, so. See, like this ugly thing, I don't really care about it. So, for the cats, it's perfect for cats. But, I've enjoyed cutting them off, cutting them down. I still got probably, uh, maybe a hundred more, maybe. I've been... Not every single morning. Most mornings I'll take about an hour or something. And, but I've been working on ink blenders, guys, just so you know. Uh, I have a crap load of ink blenders blanks to make. Uh, I sold out of all the ones that were um, carved. I got all those sanded. So I sold my last one yesterday, I think it was. So I will be making more ink blenders. Uh, Tracy Fox shared it on her channel, so we've been getting uh, inquiries from all over now. Uh, but I'm going to try to, the weather is supposed to be really nice here, so I'm going to try to uh, um, just go out and bust my butt and do make blanks on my lathe. I'm, so I'm thinking about, we have on our, whenever we whenever anyone inquires about them <coughs> sorry guys um, we, it has two to three weeks so I'm going to take probably at least a week as long as the weather wants to cooperate and right yeah, the wait's about two or three weeks I'm not even going to be sanding any uh, uh, probably for at least a week we'll see um, that's my plan if I can just go out and I think yesterday I did 12 but I had a job yesterday morning and that kind of oh the babies are <laughs> the babies are laying on the uh, shells doing paperwork you know and they're actually laying on the paperwork that she throws over and, throw them away, you know, after she's entered them in the computer. So, the two babies are laying on them. It's so adorable. But, yeah, so I'm just working on blanks. Please pray. The good Lord gives me the strength to do it. It was, I am hurting unbelievably bad today. Uh, but, I'm still going to go out when it warms up and work on the way. She said she's going to help me with um, try to get uh, I have a we have tons of uh, limbs and stuff we have to cut down and then also we have to cut uh, a bunch of the the um, 
cut the limbs into four inch pieces but then then we have to cut the limbs or the four inch pieces uh, thinner make them thinner to fit into the chuck of the way so I'm able to make the blanks so she asked me it's a, hard it's a long hard process it's not easy it, it is it just tears up my body but you know that's a necessary thing you know you have to do the hard stuff in order to get to the other stuff so it's funny I was watching swamp people and this one kid he said I don't like this this is crappy you know I want to catch I like that I don't like this part the thing is that part is it's a necessity to catch the dumb alligators so and it's the same way with the with everything, with right? everything you know but aren't those adorable here's an elephant oh shoot disconnected huh oh, wonder when is it not charging well the light's blinking how do i know No, it is plugged in. I don't even know how long I've been. Wait, that. But it's full. Was it charging? Or was it? Yeah, it's charging. Yeah. I don't know why yeah, it it's charged. It says it's connected. And that's connected, isn't it? Go to settings. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if the cat turned it off and you didn't notice. It's connected now. I don't know. Crap. I don't know where. I'm going to start tell your same story over and over again. What story? <laughs> just say, I don't know. Oh, hi. Just... Look. Do we need to reboot it? Maybe. It shows it was connected? Yeah. Hey guys, the dumb thing shut off. I've been just docking away. I don't even know what I would, how much it recorded of me telling my stories and stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully you guys know I'm gluing together squares <laughs> and sewing them. So. Hopefully they got to see what you. Yeah, if not, I don't know if you got to see what I showed. Uh, Melody Tecton, but if not, we'll just do it another later on and show it to you then. Yeah, I was going to tell uh, I don't think, we weren't married on that one police chase, were we? Not Claxton, the other one. We had a police chase. Went yeah, I went through town. I, uh, I don't know if we were or not, but anyway, um, it was. I was living down with Dad in Cortez, and Dad had a scanner, and uh, we heard this come across, and there was a police chase, and it's no lie, boy, them cops were on that guy's butt, and they ended up. I, I think he drove through town back and forth about five times. The last time, the cops were probably a good half a mile or a mile away from him. Well, he ended up going, getting away, and he went to the bar and was sitting in the bar when they found him, when they couldn't get him for drunk driving or anything, for evading or anything, because he wasn't driving. He was sitting in the bar. It was... Boy, I mean, tell you, he was flat going through town. How he didn't have a wreck, I don't know. But, yeah, to me it was comical to watch it. Thank God no one got hurt, you know. But, yeah, it was quite humorous. Well, that I like this one. That one's sure cheerful, blue. I love this plaid one. I had a few of those. Isn't that one neat? I like that one. But, yeah, it was quite, quite the police chase there. I know there were people lined up on the streets, I guess, through downtown Cortez, cheering them on, which, but, yeah.
That was a long time ago, probably right before Shell and I met, or right when we were bowling, maybe. I don't remember. Been so long ago, it's hard to tell. So you guys know I am gluing these face to face. I didn't tell you that, but right side to right side. Some of the fabrics you can't really tell in here. Others you can, so. Yeah, but one for our bedroom is going to be a queen, and it's going to be more f floral. So, let's see, here's, that one is so pretty. I just like that one. Here's more of those dog animal fabric. I like several of those. Bunny rabbit, stuff like that. Really need a blue for this one. How about I put one of these right there? But yeah, so I th imagine you heard me say these are three inch squares. So, and I sprayed my mat with the non slick crap. And I also sprayed my ruler. If you want to know what that is, let me know in the comments. Yeah, if you want to know what I'm talking about, it's the, it's a spray like the, uh, for, uh, you know, the bottom side of your rulers to keep them from, it's like, well, it's like this. See how, but it's, it's that kind of rubbery coating. Uh, but the one I have is clear. So I, I sprayed the ruler I had that I use all the time. And I also sprayed, sprayed my, um, rotary mat, the square one that rotates, I, I cleaned it all off because I had sprayed that earlier. I cleaned it all off and um, re-sprayed it. I think Shell was doing a video when I did it. Oh yeah, I think I was. Yeah, he was. It was, I don't remember. Yeah, so, but it works so nice. I need to spray this mat too as I use it quite a bit when I'm just sitting here, you know. Um, but yeah, so I didn't have to work today. I have one. Um, thought we were gonna have to work, but I talked to the owner and it was. I didn't have to do it after all. So. Oh, he's David is. Yeah, he's. Oh, yeah. You've been to his house. He lives oh, up yeah. Lightner Creek. It was weird. I did a locate at his house. Well, I've done a few locates at his house, actually. Um, and the weirdest thing was, is it went under this building he had. And and it just didn't make sense that that's where it was. But, yeah, it, it was under the building where I had thought it was. He redid his house, back side of his house and everything. But... Uh, he's one of the grass uh, landscape places in Durango. Uh, so we've been doing quite a few locates for them. Um, I'm sure you heard me talk. Well, you may have, maybe not. The ink blenders, just for reiteration. I ain't got my teeth in. Sorry. Guys. <laughs> uh, to say it again, uh, I am working on making ink uh, blender blanks, which are on the way. And that's happening outside, and I will not be sanding any blenders for probably at least a week, maybe two. Uh, I'm trying to get, you know, a hundred or a couple hundred. Do what, babe? I think they're supposed to get really cold. Yeah, we'll see. Well, because people want them for Christmas presents. Yeah, so it may just be a week. Yeah, yeah. I think if you're. Uh, uh, tell them what now? Tell them if they want some for Christmas presents to get on the list. Yeah, if you guys want some for Christmas <laughs> presents, get on the list. Because, when yeah. When gone for Christmas, yeah. Right now we have time to make them and get them to you before Christmas, but we might not. Yeah. So just let us know. But, yeah, I don't know. It just depends. I just want to... Uh, get as many blanks made because it is extremely hard on my I mean uh, for most of the morning I actually haven't been able to straighten up so I'm finally she rubbed my back and that's helping so uh, so they are very hard on my back and I want to get 
as many done before it gets really bad because I really don't want to do them in the house. It's so messy. Oh, sounds like little booger sneezing. He is adorable. Oh, and Gracie Lynn. Oh, my God, guys. Gracie has been watching the, fl the flies on the roof, on the ceiling. And uh, I know, I, I don't know if I told you. Cuddles, I told you guys about Cuddles. She was the, the, my baby that we found at the foot, on the steps of the post office next to the busiest highway right here. Um, she wasn't afraid or anything. She was just a little bitty kid. And, and I said, hi, sweetheart. And she jumped in my hand. So she was my baby. Um, but I would, she was fascinated with flies on the ceiling. And she was a big girl. She wasn't a tiny uh, cat. She was a pretty good sucker cat. I would actually lift her up and she would catch the flies and moss and stuff. Well, apparently, I don't know where Wilbur got it from, but he wants, his, or not Wilbur, but Gracie Lynn wants to do the same thing. So this morning, she's sitting there looking at, at the flies, and I told her, yeah, you're out of luck, because I ain't lifting you up right now. And she's tiny. And she is tiny, but she loves it. She'll get up there, and she'll grab them. And I don't, she's caught them, but she's always, uh, it's too hard for her to hold on to them in that position, but it's so adorable. I'll just hold her up there, and she ch chases them with her paw, but yeah, it's, she's, it's quite, quite awesome. So I'm not worried about whether or not the colors match, because truthfully, it doesn't matter. And I'm not really, uh, I don't know the dimension of this quilt, so I don't know how many squares it's going to take the width or the length. I'm just sewing a bunch of doubles because uh, I have to start somewhere. So uh, once I get them all done, I can uh, figure out about how many I'm going to need. And then, so I got a bunch of, like I said, there is all different fabrics in here. It was a real nice, uh, it wasn't very much. I think I only paid like two bucks for the package. So nothing much is going on here. Like I said, I, uh, I worked a little bit this week. Um, no, that was last week. Sure. <laughs> I'm the same way I'm totally off. I did work yesterday. I had one job that I did. But, yeah, I uh, uh, haven't really been too busy. Last week wasn't too bad. I've been uh, telling people no. And, you know, uh, to tell them I'm sorry I can't make it. Here's this number. And then um, this is the day I'm working. So if you want me to do it, you're just going to have to except that it's that day and if you can't then call someone else so i reached my point of no return now i want to quit i am ready and i'm more than happy to tell people no that's been the worst part for me is telling someone no because everyone depends on me well you tell me no all the time oh i tell her no and i'm always going to tell her no she's a pain in my tuckus guys I don't know about that. Well, they do. I'm really an angel. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Sorry if you asked if it was still recording. Yeah, it's recording. Some of this fabric is just so thin. It's amazing how thin it is. Yeah, but it doesn't matter with cats. It doesn't matter with cats, and that's why I really don't care. Yeah, we're not going to quilt it. We'll tie it. I don't... There's no way I'm quilting that. No. I have to quilt my hand. Yeah. No, we could probably use our new new machine to do something if we wanted to, but I'm okay. There's some beautiful fabrics in here. I really...
but I'll just, I'll I'll sew some before the video is over. Um, I gotta find my seam guide thing, Bobber, so I can do my seam guide, and I'll sew them at a quarter of an inch and um, chain piece them. So I'll I'll just get on there and I'll just crank that sewing machine as fast as I can get it to go. Do you have any stories, Mama? Uh, I got my new moccasins. Um, haven't been able to... the anniversary of when Tumbleweed was born. Oh, really? Nine years ago. Tumbleweed. He was the one that looked like... Sage, you looked like him. Yeah, kind of. He was kind of a butthead. But he, he was a ram goat. Sorry. He was one of the goats we had. Thinking they're probably thinking, what are you calling? Not talking about Tumbleweed. Yeah, he was a. He was not a very. He, he was. A good personality. He did not have a good personality, no. And I always thought he was ugly, but then we had the two boys, and one of the boys looked a lot like him, and I didn't realize, and I always thought he was pretty. It just goes to show you. It doesn't matter what you look like. It's your attitude that makes you ugly. <laughs> True or pretty. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. So, yeah. He was, yeah. We got, we gave him to our, one of our friends. Who did we give him to that one? Debbie, remember? And then where did he go? Oh, I don't know. Probably the meat packing place. As far as I know. Huh. She asked where we get, who we I gave him. We got him back. We did get him back. Did we, oh, we got him back? Oh, we sold them to that. Okay. Yeah, we gave them to. Uh, that's probably where he went, because I can't remember. Yeah, that probably is where he went. But, he was not a very good yeah, he wasn't a good goat. Definitely. Now, our, I think our youngest, oh, no, it wouldn't be our youngest. The, the, Whispers are youngest. Yeah, Whispers are youngest. The three boys, the two boys, and there are eight this year, aren't they, hon? Uh, uh, Loco, Loco, I think is Loco and Seiji. We lost Seiji this winter, but last winter, but uh, we still have Loco, and I think he's about eight or something like that. Yeah, so he's eight or nine. they're getting close to Ow. their lifespan. It's about twelve years, twelve to fifteen. That long? Oh, I thought it was about nine or ten, is what I thought. Well, maybe it was ten to twelve. I don't know. But yeah, we decided we will not have goats after these pass, so. Chloe wants out of the bedroom, but I'm not letting her out because she picked on Artie this morning and I don't want to have to deal with it right now. So now I know that I don't have to work today. I know I'm going to be doing uh, blanks. It's still pretty chilly out. It's 38. Supposed to be 63 in Cortez today. Of course, it's only 8.15. Yeah, it's not very late. I mean, we got... So, yeah, it's going to be... Um, going to be a nice day to work out there. And yesterday was really nice. I really enjoyed yesterday. But it was it was a good... I get, like I said, I think I was out there for about an hour and a half, I don't, oh well, it didn't yeah, about, that. about an hour and a half, and I got 12 done, and I've got five of those 12 carved this morning, so I'm aiming to do about 25 a week or more, uh, I don't know, we're thinking, what we're hoping is probably by the end of January is what we're hoping that, uh, our sales of the ink blenders and our journals will be able to uh, take the place of our work. And we're still going to try to get me on disability, but if we are able to uh, work from home, then I won't be driving. And You know, once or twice a month, maybe, I can run down, we can stock up on the groceries we need, and then that's what I'm hoping. So please pray it. I'm ready. I just can't keep going the way I am. 
and it just, yeah, there needs to be a change that way. And I have faith that the good Lord's going to uh, let us do it. I really do. I don't think we're going to have a... Um, issue. I think it's going to work out. You know, I really do. Boy, them are some, uh, some ugly fabric. That's definitely not the fabric I would want uh, to make anything with. I'm going to have to order me some more glue. This is my last bottle. It does last a long time, but uh, I haven't been using it like I am today, so it will, it will go pretty quick. I was going to sew with white thread, my white thread I always sew with. Um, no sense in using a color on it because really it wouldn't matter anyway, you won't see it. So. I hope everyone's week is going good. Drove my forerunner yesterday. I was so excited. We haven't been able to afford. It's kind of a gas sucker, sucker. So I've been. I drove the Matrix last week or two. So, um, so I drove my forerunner yesterday. I sure did enjoy it. I filled it up and sure the fun. I just love to drive my little forerunner. Lots of purples. That one's pretty. And then I have tons more fabric. Uh, you know, we have two containers of scraps that we've been saving from when I've been doing the journals, covers and stuff. And I'm going to go in there and that all needs to be ironed so I, so I know what I'm dealing with as far as the... Um, uh, sizes of it, so. Honey, why don't you just move and pick them up? Sam is behind her head. I made that stupid shelf for him to keep him from doing that, but then he still does it. All the cats finally calmed down. Whoa, whoa, girl was wound tight this morning. She was. I had to give her a toy. Yeah, she wouldn't let Shell cook, which truthfully is part of Shell's fault too. But, <laughs> but that's beside the point. You know, she wants to always pick her up because she always picks her up, and Shell's trying to cook, and it wasn't going very good because. So she, she wanted attention. Whenever she, I'm in the kitchen, she's like, I need attention. Yeah, Mom. yeah. Like I said, it's her fault. But uh, So she get, ended up giving her a toy so she could make breakfast. And she keeps bringing it up to me and dropping Wa it. Yeah, I want her to put, she's playing fetch with her, so she's still cooking. But this time now she's wanting her to play fetch. Play fetch. But it's adorable. She's got the cutest little man. It's just meow. It's adorable. And little buddy, he, you can't hear his very often. Once in a blue moon, you can hear his, uh, Thanks, him meowing, but it is just so faint. But yeah, he's started making noises, but that's about all it is, is noises. You can't really make it out. Sometimes he makes meows, but there's no sound, but you can see his mouth moving. He's been so much fun. He's been my cat for the last couple of days. Yeah, and then and he's, yesterday he was. Yeah, yesterday he was. Shell's cat. I leave and then work a day or something, he'll kind of pester me on loving, which I'm more than happy to oblige. So, he's got dots on it. What do they call it? I think. Oh, uh, Dotted Swiss, I think is what it's called. Or that bright. Someone will let you know. Yeah, I know. But 
So yeah, Tracy did uh, showcase the ink blenders on her video. I think it was yesterday. So and then Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah, she is going. She wants one of ours, so I'm going to send her one of our ink blenders. So take some of these out. So that's going to be nice. See how it's cold, chilly in the house. It really is. There's none in the thing. I got to clothes again today, it looks like. You know, we do really appreciate you guys visiting and just spending your time with us. Uh, just allowing us just to... Gracie's eye is looking better, can you tell them? Oh, sorry. Gracie's eye is looking better. We've been putting the teramycin in her in it. It was just the one eye. We don't exactly know what happened. Uh, but but it, the swelling went down. Yeah, they're not swell. It's not swollen anymore. And she definitely is, you could tell she's feeling better, so oh, yeah. I don't know what happened, but yeah, she definitely seems like she's feeling better. And we got to uh, work out, not work out in the shed. We've got to take the heater part and because there's several different parts that have the same name, but they don't look the same. So I'm going to have to figure out what part is what. Boy, that one is beautiful. I just love that fabric. It's so cheery. Which one? The flat floral one. The bright watercolor ones. That one so is I'll probably so take pretty. a couple yeah. of the other ones and put in there for that one. I gather, I don't know, it's just such a beautiful fabric. Ooh, there's a, a yellow frog. Well, I have yellow. There's yellow. Like I said, I'm truthfully going to make it a matter they're all going to be mixed in there anyway. So I'll be able to do a lot of squares in a short amount of time on my sewing machine. So it won't take me long to sew them up. I surely love using this basting glue. It is so easy for me to do it this way. Oh, here's one that's got stars on it. Well, that's kind of pretty, isn't it, guys? Well, you know what? Stars and uh, gingham go really good together. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I'm saying. Oh, I have plans to do a, another window journal cover. Oh, yeah, for winter. For winter. Yeah, I'm going to do a window. Uh, winter window. Winter window cover. <laughs> that. So, be looking for that. That, it will be in the short future, I'm sure. Probably within a week or two, I'll get it done. I really want to uh, get started on it. Now that we did our fall fabrics, you know, this way I'll be able to kind of break up the monotony of stuff. And, yeah, it doesn't matter really. I'm really excited about that. I have found, uh, I found some really good fabric for the window panes, so... That's why I'm really excited about it. As soon as I saw it, I showed the shell and said, yep, that's it. Oh, yeah. So. About 15 minutes before you have left. Oh, I have about 15 minutes. Let me sew a couple more and then I'll uh, crank my sewing machine up. Because, you know, like I said, it won't. I can flat chain piece. Gotta find that guide though. So I can do that. This going to be such a cheerful quilt. There's so many pieces of it, you know, that are so bright and cheerful. 
But the cats love laying on Dad's recliner, so I thought, well, keep the hair off it, and I don't want to use my quilt that I have that I made uh, on it. I use it. I sleep on it, but I also don't want them laying on it. Well, I took a nap out here yesterday, and I had three cats laying with me. So that was kind of confining. Yeah, wasn't it though? Yeah. Sophia was behind. Me. Yeah, Sophia was behind my legs, and then the other cat was in front of them, and so I couldn't undo my straighten out my legs. So I finally just kicked them all off. But I don't take naps at her very often. But I really didn't want to sleep a super long time. Yeah. So. I was pretty tired. Yeah, Sophia screamed. Yeah, Sophia was just screamed last, not last night, but the last, oh, she was three or four. Night. I don't know why I didn't, I don't think I loved on her as much yesterday as I did the day before, but who knows. It's hard telling with cats why they do stuff, you know. See, this one, you can't even hardly tell which side's which. But I see this is the wrong side, I think. To yeah, me, that's this what I is think, too. So, which ones have you um, glued? All those. Holy moly. Well, it doesn't take long. I mean, it helps having them pretty precise, you know. Oh, yeah. It doesn't. Ooh, that's pretty, that purple. I know it. I love that purple. Take a couple of those, put them there. Blue one's pretty too. I really like this one. Yeah. And, but it's got a purple center. So. Blue's clogging up a little bit. So we, yeah, we got all the ink blenders sold that I had in there. The only one I didn't carve is I had a cedar ink blender in there. That I that was the only one I hadn't carved. Yeah, everything else. So those seventy you made are gone. Yeah, I had made I think it was sixty sixty eight or seventy, something like that. So all those were done. All of them sold. So that's a lot of ink blenders, you know. And I think the most I can card normally with my hand is probably about, I think I, I've carved like 15 before, but that was pushing my hand pretty much to the limit. I was, so I do have to kind of watch that. I don't want that to get, uh, um, become an issue. My thumb has been numb. Actually, all right, all this is completely numb now for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, been that way for about a week, so I don't feel like I have a pinched nerve anywhere, but probably carpal tunnel. So we're just hoping and, you know, hoping that the, I have faith that, you know, the ink blenders, you know, I don't know if I told you this, but when I first started locating, um, my boss, when I first started locating phone, he told me that he we are public servants, even, you know, that. And, you know, to always go out of your way to help, you know, anyone you see. Or, you know, I've had it where I've been uh, seen wrecks and stuff, and I, I do the traffic and stuff to help out everyone, you know. And, and now that I'm uh, leaving that, uh, now that I'll be leaving that profession, uh, I felt like that was uh, a way I was able to serve, serve God and also to serve, you know, our public. And now the ink blenders is my calling. I believe that in my heart that 
God gave me this gift to help others because they really do help those with arthritis in their hands. And to me, that if you can help even just one person, then the pain I have is worth that. So that, that's what it is to me is, is you know, just a calling to help others. So, okay, you know what? I better get my, oh, I got a, I'm going to pause the video real quick. Uh, I'm going to pick these up. I need to figure out where my, uh, my uh, scene guide is because I just not 100% where it is. So I'll be back in a minute. For life me, I can't find my stupid green ruler that I use to do my seam guide. But, I mean, it isn't our bed quilt, so I won't be too um, matter. I'll try not to make it. Um, but I do, oh, glue. Um, they didn't forget my head if it wasn't attached. Okay. Okay. I have this one that came with my um oh a block of the month club. So let me do that. I think that's probably about it. Try not to put any force on it. Do that, it pushes the needle back. And then once you undo it, then it won't have that correct. Uh, seeing so okay I'm calling it good so if you guys don't know this is chain piecing this is the best way to do it and you don't lose all your fabric your your uh, thread you don't really waste your thread doing it this way and that's kind of nice Sometimes I gotta double check myself. I know how I am. And I always leave the needle in and then I just push my fabric up to the needle. Sure, I get the right seam. I've been known to. It's so funny. I absolutely love the sound of my machine. It's such a soothing sound. Uh, I had mom, mom give me one that she didn't have the power cord for. It was a, a Singer 99, which they say it's a baby sister to this one. And, I mean, it still has that clicking, but you don't, it's not the same as it is with using the hand crank. It's just a pure sewing machine noise. You don't have the noise of the motor or anything. I don't know. It's just such a soothing sound. I know a lot of you guys think the same thing. Love to listen to it. The only bad thing about using a hand crank is they're a lot more, a lot harder to use because you only have one hand to guide your sewing. Where you got a motorized or even a treadle, you have two hands, so that does make them a little bit harder to sew on. But to me, I just would rather use it than anything else. 
want to take shells. I bought her a Selmore bag, I think from the 50s, years ago for like 10 or 20 bucks. And I've used it. It's a beautiful pink and charcoal gray kind of, or I don't know, metallic gray. Uh, I need to take it in and get it uh, cleaned and uh, adjusted. It wasn't sewing right when I was going to use it. So that's about the only motorized one I'll use. Oh. Now we got, uh, you know, when we show wanted to make a bench for the cats to sleep on on the couch because Sammy lays right behind your head and he'll give you a headache and stuff. And they hardly use that dumb thing, but it has a blanket on it. But I'm going to make a uh, one of these for it. No. No. Probably a little bit of cushion. No. Grace Lynn's wanting to help. Oh. There she is. She <laughs> wants to help Daddy. Hey guys, she is one precious little girl. Both her and that little Wilbur just are two. They are just so precious, both of them are. Sure have enjoyed watching them grow. And Wilbur has just blossomed his personality, and it's just, yeah. He really has. He, has, he is so much fun. And he's so funny, he'll hide, but he don't hide. He'll jump Hunkers out and attack. Down. Yeah, he'll hunker down, but he's not hiding. He's middle of the floor. <laughs> and it's like, come on, Wilbur, you can do better than that. <laughs> I haven't told the story about Dad Park. Uh, he was a, our first, the black cat that Dad have, had. I haven't, told that in a while. I haven't told that story forever. Uh, he was a really extreme. He was a very, very smart cat. He was... Uh, definitely one of the genius cats you know and one day I was just tormenting that cat I kept scaring him and he would was playing and so I'm in the bathroom he's in the bathroom we had a washing machine in the bathroom so I'm standing there and I didn't see the one part but <laughs> Shell said he, she watched him he went and was sneaking into the bathroom and he let out this blood curdling <laughs> meow scared the bejeebas out of me i turned i looked at him he just turned around and walked <laughs> off it was hilarious because clint had been sneaking and scared him all day that was the funniest thing i never thought a cat would do that but yeah it was quite it was funny it was hilarious. Yeah, he did. He just <laughs> turned around and strutted back like I got him. And I yeah. I saw him walking in there and I was like, uh-huh. I didn't say a word. It was so funny. <laughs> yeah, he was he was quite the cat, but he missed Dad so much. And we, we couldn't, couldn't keep him in the We way. couldn't keep him in the house. He ended up getting hit. We didn't find him for a few days and we finally found him. So it was heartbreaking, but he just missed Dad, and you know, I don't know why Dad just didn't take him. But well, I think they thought it would be easier on him, on him to be here. Over. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, he was a neat, well, neat cat. He was black like Bitty Berry. He boy, he didn't like women though. Except me. Except Shell. In fact, Dad was so shocked. <laughs> yeah, when we, Dad was shocked, you know, when I brought Chell over, she just sat there and on the bed and Pard was, I was on, the floor. on the floor. She was just loving on Pard and Pard was just loving on her. It was, yeah, Pard knew that, yeah, amazing animals sometimes. My part is, oh, he was sleeping in my chair and got up. He's been 
fought me today. No, but we haven't really. I'm trying to snuggle quite a bit, so. Yeah. Oh, I'll keep going for a little bit longer. Yeah, it's been probably an hour if, if okay. it recorded everything. Yeah, if it recorded everything. She said I could stop the, if I wanted to or keep going. We did have somebody request us to do a two-hour long video. Hey, yeah, that ain't going to happen. I bet we could we could talk for two hours. Oh, but I, would, I don't know. That'd be... Probably could, actually, I but mean, sure would wear you out, though. Do it. it almost sounded like a challenge to me. <laughs> she says she just gets comfortable, gets her knitting and crochet out, and uh, then our videos are over. Yeah, then our videos are over. She said, Can you do a two hour long video? We probably could. We probably could. And what a sweet um, comment. That was you know. that mellow yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, Plank could talk for two hours. I probably could. No, probably about it. Oh, shush. <laughs> no, probably about it. That's my wife. Well, she sure torments me, doesn't she, guys? No. Oh, they can't even see little girl. Little girl's right here. Oh, you can't God. see her. She's just the sweetest little thing. She's such a... I don't know. I call her princess. She is a little she princess. She loves her mama. She loves daddy too, but she's definitely a little girl. Little mama's girl. Yeah. Which is nice because I haven't really had my own. No, mama. not really. Not that kind of precious kitty. Put you in all my thread, you little turd. Oh! Tell you, she's a turd and a half, guys. See what I mean? Boy, you could flat go with this chain piece. It's the way to go. If you got a lot of crap to sew, definitely the, definitely the way to go, I think. Do what, honey? Crap to sew what? You can really go if you got uh -oh. a lot of crap to sew. That one's wrong. Backwards. Oh well. Inside out. Yeah. It's not right, but I don't care. It's, I got one of them inside out, so I do that sometimes. I think we all do. I think so too, yeah. She said, I think we all do. Yeah. I love to sew. I, I really love using my old sewing machine. I was going to do one of my uh, Civil War shirts, I just never did it. Yeah, I make one of my own, you know. I need to order some more because mine are getting pretty. Boy, look at all this. Mine are getting pretty well wore out. I go through them pretty quick. Um, good thing is, once I uh, stop locating, I won't be I going. I wear them around. They're really comfortable. I'll have to show them to you some guy, someday. Someday. They've probably seen it if they've watched our location. Yeah, I know. Well, someone wanted to see my vintage coat. So, on our next face-to-face, uh, -face, I'll show them to you guys so you can see what they look like. Gracie Leanne, what are you doing? You have I have, I think, five. Uh, one, the pockets need to be sewn. I, I, I ask, keep asking Shell to do it, but we're both so busy. But I need to have that so that's my favorite coat. I wanna I've only seen one. Hi Bob. Huh? Watch that she doesn't get stuck in here. I know, I'm watching it. Wilbur, put you in on that babe. You know those are toys, right? Yeah. Do you wanna say hi real quick before I turn it off? Wilbur Dean. No, 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 no. You leave my fabric alone, you little turd. He was stealing one of my squares. Come here. There's a little bubba. I was going through my pictures on my iPad yesterday, and I had a picture of him and her 
And I tell you, that was the cutest thing. Oh, she's... I'm on. Why don't you go over there? So, well, guys, I don't look like I'm going to... Uh, I'm favor... Oh, I did want to show you this, guys. Here's my ruler that I, I did find. Uh, it's a Creative Grids ruler. And then if you see how it has that film, that's the spray. And I can get you the name of it. Uh, but I use it, you know, on my rulers, but also on my, my cutting mats. And it just helps the fabric not to, not to slide. It's so nice. Because my, my rotary mat, the one that turns, is the one I cut on all the time. And it actually was starting to turn smooth again because it had worn off. So I washed it, scrubbed it really good with Windex and, uh, and re-sprayed it. And it, the fabric just doesn't move on it. it. It is a dream to cut on. And that's a definite hint, hint is to spray your cutting mats because, God, it just makes things so much nicer. So, Well, the cat's going to sneeze on everything. I got something tells me. So, guys, uh, please, hit the, the th please give this a video a thumbs up. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for visiting. You don't know how it means to, what it means to us having you as our YouTube family and you guys taking the time out of your day to watch us. That just amazes me. Just yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna let to go. Let go. Say goodbye, honey. Bye, honey. See you later. Bye, guys. Thanks again for visiting. Cut jeans. Bye.